Yeah, so this is our final dive here as part of our Lu'ua Ea Ahiki Ika Papaku expedition. And we are on the ascent. So just a few minutes away from recovering or initiating the recovery of the vehicles here at the surface. And from here, we'll be jetting back to port over the next few days. I don't know if we have time to do a rapid fire. What's your highlight? What was the favorite thing you saw? around the control van. I really liked, um, maybe I'm biased by time because it was recently, but those um, bubblegum corals that had the- The yellow. The yellow zoanthids, and they were kind of like perfectly, and the brittle spider, they were kind of like perfectly proportioned and and, uh, and evenly spaced. That was cool. Yeah, very mutualistic. Yeah. I, well, maybe again, also biased by time. I like seeing all the chunky sea stars today. <laughs> <laughs> I like the ridges of um, that were just covered in those pink precious corals. Those are, I mean, oh, yeah. for like four hours straight. That was incredible. Seems like so long ago, but that beaked whale fossil was. Oh yeah, yeah. It keeps sticking yeah. in my mind. I keep yeah. going back to it. Yeah, the fact that the rest of the bones get eaten away, but there's something about that that makes it last long enough to then get manganese encrusted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Someone's got to say sponge because otherwise Chris is going to be really disappointed. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was I was going to say, I, again, biased for time, I was I was impressed by the number of uh, base jumping uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. stars yeah, today. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, I, I'm <laughs> seems like they were every time we passed by one it's like hey look at me i'm gonna photobomb everybody Woo! <laughs> and then as rennie points out in my brain i have a wilhelm scream as soon as i launch <laughs> off and for those of you who don't know what a wilhelm scream is google it there's plenty of plenty of youtube videos of that compilations of sound engineers slipping in the wilhelm scream in every movie oh yeah every movie <laughs> you have to have a wilhelm scream somewhere um I, I, I'm very curious about this unidentified white stoloniferin from mm. several mm -hmm. dives ago. Um, very prior, going to prioritize checking that out. Um, but I'm also impressed on how much stuff can actually be fit in starboard bio box with all those rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Seems endless. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. Yeah. What about you, Lizzie? Mm. I don't know. Favorite thing? My least favorite is the picnogonid. <laughs> least favorite? <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't get any some of the some of the terrifying <laughs> zooms we've gotten on on the bigger organisms. We in the got past. close enough. But yeah, <laughs> pretty just good. fine. They're, I think their organs are in their legs. Yeah, no, that's enough. enough. Yeah. yeah. Nasty. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting, kind of how we we are wired to you know find things repulsive or you know scary or disgusting in the deep sea when evolutionarily we've had absolutely no uh, contact with these ecosystems right. at any point, and just yeah. it, it's interesting how it carries through. It's illogical. I get it because yeah. they're related to other arthropods <laughs> that do not gross me out. But no, I my favorite, I don't know, I really like the, the Chana comps. Mm. It's fun we got to see a bunch on this watch. I oh, yeah. also really like the Chrysogorgia, or not the Chrysogorgia, the Victor Gorgia, the bright purple. Mm. Those are beautiful. I also like the photobombing shark. White oh, from the, the recovery? Yeah. Yeah, those are also very interesting. Were you here for the, the squid fiasco? I was in the lab. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were getting sample labeling stuff ready on that nighttime recovery. And Did yeah, that was a uh, unfortunate timing with when the squid were attracted to lights.
Well, if we're going to go through least favorites, my least favorite was the flow meter. Oh. <laughs> was the what? Surprise flow meter. Well, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Least favorite. Should be good okay. The gelatinous holotherian that made a mess of oh, the bio yeah. boxes. Picking all those little jelly bits out. Straining them. Yeah, it was a challenge. I think the, the the entire mass of the bio box, the forward bio box, was gelatinous. It had uh, gone down. Was it the gone temperature down. change? Or hmm? Was it the temperature change? Or? No, it was just the, the jelly uh, gelatinous um, holotherian just dissociated into mucus and jelly. Yep. Huh. Definitely some, some low Reynolds number action going on in there. Front row, any least favorite moments? Least favorite moments. Hmm. I've got another one. Okay. We lost the pink red sea star. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we think it crawled out or float? Like some the, the weird box had a crack at the end. The box had a like crack. But yeah, would it have crawled out or would it have uh, eddied out? You know, like I think it could have crawled out. Yeah. I'm going to say that it actively tried to free itself. Yeah. Not only are they pretty, but they're smart deep sea animals. Yeah. Hmm. Where it then had a fantastic fall to the ocean bottom. Yeah. With one heck of a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, that was kind of the, the whole premise behind Finding Nemo, right? <laughs> Escape. Pretty much. Escape. Yeah. Should we undo our gauge check before we yep. hit the surface? I hate to end on the low notes. It's been such a great expedition with you all. Mm -hmm. Has been great. I like seeing the uh, the oceanic white tip sharks. Mm. Possibly just one that was following us everywhere. <laughs> there was that one dive where there were at least three. Mm. You could see them in all the oh, hurt cams. Let them finish lunch. Yep. Well, Thanksgiving dinner was really nice. I mean, in a non sciencey uh, perspective, on the cruise. Never had a major holiday like that at sea before. Hmm. Yeah, they put a lot of effort into making it feel very festive. It's yeah. Tuna nice. sashimi was great. It just it looks like it's jet pump's been quite biasing to fight against yeah and so i think you'll end up to port you might have to fight a bit to herc port just to stay centered initially roger okay thanks ernie yep are we going to be holding for a minute to let the lunch hour finish yeah we'll hold at one zero zero Probably for like five or ten minutes.
who are getting back into the sunlit waters. Yeah. Temperatures are nice. 20 degrees Celsius. Around about room temperature. Seeing the sparkle of little particles getting in front of the laser lights that are still on, even though the laser lights themselves are fading. Did you turn on something recently there, Jake? And then turn off your mezzo. And then at one zero zero, we'll do an all stop. Yeah, that cleared it. So a mezzo doesn't like a hundred meters for shallower. <laughs> Roger that. Brother Grandfall. I don't know. You can probably jostle it back on if you want to see the exact. There's something in the case, but. All right, so we're at roughly 100 meters. We're going to hold steady here as uh, we're right at the lunchtime for shifts. So the incoming shift is having their lunch, and then we'll be getting them out on deck and helping out. And we'll be free to go get our lunch. Now we can cue the sharks and squid and yeah, whales. Whenever they're ready. Seals. Yeah, give us something. Mahi mahi. There were some really nice uh, mctophids feeding in a school. Uh, I filled in, when was it? Yesterday during dinner or a couple days ago. And... Um, yeah, a bunch of mctovid. It kind of looked like a fishbowl, like you were looking through a fishbowl. They're just mm. swimming around, just eating bits of food particles in the nom water nom column. Nom. I'm not familiar with that. Is it like, what kind of L fish is it? Like a midwater lantern fish. Okay. Yeah. I think they, mctophids, I think mctophids are one of the most up, or hypothesized to be one of the most abundant types of fishes on Earth just okay. because of the sheer volume of the midwater space. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the, the midwater space in the whole ocean. HD? Still ground vaulted. Yeah. 
Have um, on any of the uh, recoveries, when you get closer to the surface, do you ever get seabirds diving into the water? Yeah, sometimes. Um, they just uh, they're looking. I guess they're used to fis fishing vessels, or yeah, <laughs> they uh, very curious around Hercules. Mm. Was it two years ago when we were down towards Samoa? There's a bunch of little blue-footed boobies, and mm -hmm. their blue feet were. Oh yeah, fluttering in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. They're just surrounding the vehicles without just like just completely disregarding that it was a large robot coming out of the water. Right. Yeah. Like you said, or any they they like fishing vessels are used to those. Hoping that Hercules is bringing up a snack from the deep. Sometimes it does. Um, I have a question uh, for front row. Yep. yep. Uh, Niskin 1 said it misfired. Uh, can you see if it... Some, I looks, see... Looks pretty fired it to looks me. Yeah, it looks close to me. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to check that because previous watches said it misfired. So maybe... Maybe it... Well, it, then, then it's an unreliable we on, sample. <laughs> yeah, when we came on shift yeah. and they first were showing the Niskin rack, it looked like all of them were fired yeah. except six. So maybe it fired at some point. Fired yeah. at some point during the... Yeah. On one of the dive. previous dives, on one of the misfires, it was like the loop was hanging on the um, the hook, like just uh, barely, <laughs> like when it came to the surface. So it might That's have just finished its... Yeah, it got jostled. Could have gotten jostled and... Have some extra seawater. It was set to leisure, and we <laughs> needed it on duty. <laughs> <laughs> nice, indeed. And two weeks later, we come full circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, do you think we should come up that last bit? Yeah. Or wait? yeah. I saw Dan yeah. out there or somebody. It's only one person, right? Yeah. 46. Yeah, we can come up to 50, and then if there's some out there, we'll wait. Okay. Mary Jake? Yep. Thumbs up. Yeah, it is warm. Warm out there in the water. Be nice to go for a swim, but not today. <laughs> yeah. Yep. A little soup stew going out there. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So we're saying goodbye to Steve as he gets some lunch and preps the lab. You want to start your camera since... <laughs> <laughs> it's static, black and white anyway. I don't see any change in that picture. No. Still rainbow. Go ahead. What happens if there's you? a DC ground fault? DC ground fault. We we just tried it. I can try it again. Yeah, Jake Jake just tried it. He's gonna turn it on again. Let's try it out again. Yeah, three seventy two kilo ohms. Two kilo ohms. <laughs> zero, zero ohms. <laughs> Gosh, one ohm. <laughs> one ohm. It went down one to zero. Singular it went down to zero. Ohm. <laughs> zero ohms. No ohms. Did it? It was working though, right? Like yeah. there was a picture generated. Yeah. 
Homeless. <laughs> Homeless, yes. <laughs> uh, I'll record that in the dive log. All right, Jake. <laughs> Ten more meters left there. Is that with no lats over? So yeah, so we'll be all right. Yeah, that's with no lats. If we need to, after we stop at the surface, I can make step moves over, but Reg. I think you might be able to be in the position you want. Yeah, I think we'll be pretty swimming. Pretty good. Yeah. I don't see anyone I'll on stop. deck still. Five zero. Roger. I'll stop. Yeah, there's no way I'm calling them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't poke the bear. <laughs> oh, we're actually technically right on time. You yeah. said 20 minutes after lunch, so it's yeah. 20 minutes. They're late. They'll, uh, they'll <laughs> arrive whenever he arrives. <laughs> if Mark ever hears us, he'll chew us out, too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Poke the bear. Yeah. <laughs> so front row, just so you're in the know about this uh, plan mm -hmm. after we're coming up, because uh -huh. um, you're probably not checking your email. <laughs> um, we do plan to have a uh, release ceremony on the deck by the just above the ROV hangar mm -hmm. at 12:30. Um, and uh, but if you're busy with your operations, it's okay if you uh, don't have time to come up. But the intention is to uh, all together uh, perform the release ceremony um, with Kalameho leading us. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Starting to see some signs of life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the way this swell's been picking up, it's not a moment too soon, I don't think. Yeah. Loud and clear, Mark. Good to recover. Control van's ready. The control van is ready. Bridge main deck radio check. Tronoclops <laughs> calling in. <laughs> control van, you want to call the bridge? Uh, yeah, they're they're sorting their radio out. Bridge, that's uh, channel one. Check. Deck bridge. Okay, to recover. You can continue, Mark. So it's coming up.
So for our audience at home, we're hanging out at 50 meters here with Hercules and Argus, soaking in this lovely cyan-colored water while we uh, wait for the back deck crew to assemble and begin the recovery of the vehicles onto the deck. We're starting our ascent, it looks like. So in the channel three feed, you'll be seeing Argus being hoisted up on the winch and brought it back up onto the deck. Can we switch to a recovery salvo? Uh, Trevor saying something about launch recovery salvo. Is that something to you guys? Yeah, we just fired it. Hopefully he's got it though. Trevor must have sent me a mind message. <laughs> Together we are one. Still getting USPL, looks Probable port goal. You hard over lats now? Twenty meters up. I'm starting to see you there. You're just at the aft. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 So we're at about ten to twelve meters water depth. So close to a goal. I'll still hold position once we get Argus on deck. Roger. Actually, you know, I may not, just because there'll be a lot of jet wash over uh, on the port side, rather than port aft. Yep, so here we are up in the wash here. A lot of jet wash over it. Like where, where the crane picks up her, it'll be firing out there instead of like aft end port, it'll be. So I'll just, uh, here comes yeah, so I'll just, I'll just keep streaming as long as you're all right with that. Both hooks are on. Nope. Sorry. Now both hooks are on. Gonna disable this here. So now you see in channel two the back deck view. Argus being lifted up on the A frame. Two of the crew are operating air tuggers. Whoa. Whoa. Big swing there. Spicy there. Yeah, it's a spicy recovery. All right, so we've got air tuggers helping to pull in Argus on both sides as the A-frame's coming in. Mark directing Argus safely through the bumpers. Time these movements with the ship's motion be as safe as possible.
Yeah, I think. Doesn't. Yeah, we'll step out in just a minute. What's that? Yeah. All right. Front row, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to go get my lunch. Yeah, it's I'm a pleasure flying with you all, as always. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. See you next time. Yeah. I'm also going to sign off here, and at this time, we're going to close out comments and questions for this expedition. Thanks for following along, everyone. Okay, Herc, drive out to the Indian Tether. Roger that.
Jovian main deck 